Hi everyone. This week's theme is camping. All right, so with Memorial Day upon us and the summer right ahead, um, I thought it'd be really fun to do a camping theme picture. So uh, this particular one, this is what the finished product is gonna look like. And this particular one I did all in crayon. So the materials you're gonna be needing in addition to crayon are a pencil, some scissors, and a glue stick. You can also use white glue as well. You also need two sheets of eight and a half by 11 paper. Okay, so let me put this to the side and we will get started. Put this right up here. Okay, now the first thing you're gonna do is you want one of the sheets of your eight and a half by 11 paper to be going horizontally. And then what we're gonna do is we, we need to create our tent. So in order for our tent to fit the entire um, the entire width of the paper, we are going to do this. We're going to fold your paper horizontally. So I'll do it this way so you don't get confused. So you're going to fold it in half horizontally, meaning have your paper go side to side like this and then fold it over so it looks like a book. Okay, so you fold it over. And now what you're going to do is you need to take one side of your paper and you are going to bend it up. Now, you want to bend from the side that has the spine on it right here, not the open spot, not the open side, but the side that has the spine. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this corner and you're going to pull it up here until you see that you have no more space left right here. So it will fit perfectly. You don't even have to measure it. You just pull it up till it fits perfectly. All right. Now you're going to undo your paper and you have a, a triangle right here. Now it's important that you use the side with the spine because we're gonna be opening it. If you accidentally do it this way and you fold it this way, when you open it up, you're not gonna have a symmetrical piece of paper. So you have to keep that in mind. Okay, so we fold it up. We get a nice crease right there. Unfold it, take your scissors, and you're gonna cut right along this line. So we don't even have to measure a triangle, you just have already created one. So you're gonna cut right along this line. There you go. And then you can put that to the side because we don't need it anymore. Now, we're gonna open up our paper and you've created a perfect triangle. So now I wanna show you what you're gonna do. Even though both our papers are white right now, when you put this triangle right on top of this other piece of paper right towards the bottom, it fits the entire length of the paper. So it's perfect. Okay, now, before we add any color or anything to it, you're gonna take your scissors again, and you're gonna, right along here, about halfway up of your line, you're gonna cut with your scissors. Maybe about two cuts, doesn't even have to be halfway. Okay, now, I'll move this over so you can see it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend just to where I can bend. I'm not even measuring or anything, it's just you can't go anymore because it's right to that cut. And you're gonna bend this one. And now we have a tent with an opening. So perfect. So you don't wanna to go too far up because then your opening will be too big. You can actually go even smaller if you want to. There's really no rules to it. Okay, you just don't wanna to go too far up or the, the tent opening will be too big. All right, perfect. Now, next thing you wanna do is you wanna color in your tent. So I wanna show you, these are the colors that I used. I kind of used a, a kind of a magenta red right here. And I also, used um, a kind of a tan color in the background, but I'll get to that in just a minute. So you wanna color in your tent. Now we're gonna have, it's gonna be a nighttime scene, so we want the background of our picture to be black. So we want our tent to pop out of the picture. And our trees, let me pull this back one more time, our trees are gonna be green. So because our trees are gonna be green, we don't want our tent to be green because we want our tent to stand out. Now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick kind of this magenta-y red, and I also have kind of a purple color too. And what I might do actually is I might add a little blue in there too. I might add a couple colors in there because you can blend those colors together. All right, so go ahead and start coloring in your tent. So if it helps, you can put your tent on a third piece of paper, just sort of, so you're not getting your uh, surface dirty and you can just color in your tent. So go ahead and color that tent in. And I'm not pushing very hard. If you wanna push harder, you can. 
color in your tent. All right, so you go ahead and do that, color in your tent, and I'm gonna kind of mix a couple of these colors together. I'm gonna mix my, color, my red, my blue, and my purple. So go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm just finishing adding kind of an extra kind of mixture to my tent right here so it gets a little bit of this blue color on here. All right, I'm kind of quickly doing that on there. And again, this paper is just used for sort of a background. So, or just kind of a scrap piece of paper, I should say, so you don't, so I'm not getting it all over the table. All right, so I'm gonna set this to the side and I colored in everything and I even colored in the insides of my little flaps. All right, now, Here's what you're gonna do. Now you're gonna take your next piece of paper. We need to create our background. So what I wanna show you is put your, put your tent right on here. And what you can do is to create a little bit of a different color underneath because in the inside of your tent, you don't want it to be the same color as your sky because the tent is, it's obviously the inside of your tent, not the sky. So here's a good little trick is before you do anything, you, um, you're gonna take a pencil, put this on here, and very, very, very lightly trace a triangle shape right there and pull it off, and now you have a triangle shape. Now you wanna color this in a different color. And I use tan, you can use tan, you can use brown, you can use any color really that you want for kind of the inside of your tent, kind of make the inside of your tent stand out a little more. And again, you're just doing this because you don't want it to be the same color as your sky. Okay, so I'm gonna color that in right there. There we go. All right, perfect. Now, if you've noticed, I have not glued down my tent yet. That is going to be the very last thing you do is glue down your tent. So you wanna keep your tent really mobile because we wanna add that, add all the background first and then glue our tent down. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some trees and some stars and a moon in the background. Now, again, use your tent as kind of a template right here. So if you want almost, you can very, very, very lightly take your pencil and kind of trace along the edges. And this is a little challenging, but you can trace very, very lightly, I'm barely even touching it, I'm not pushing it down, and then I'm gonna move it. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I know that everything outside of this very, very light line that I traced is going to be a different color. I don't even have to worry about coloring this because that's where my tent is gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna put my tent to the side and I'm gonna work on my background. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some trees. And I'm, re I'm not even gonna draw them in pencil, I'm just gonna draw them straight in a uh, crayon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a, like a rectangle shape, color it in, and I'm gonna do one tree at a time. And then I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna color in, I'm gonna be doing uh, diagonal coloring, going down, starting from the top and going down like this, and then going the opposite direction. So watch, I'm gonna start, kind of go to the top of my tree and go out, 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 almost like I'm making kind of hair. There we go, and I can make it bigger. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the other side and go the opposite direction like this. That way it will look like an evergreen tree in the forest. There we go. And then I'm gonna make a couple more. I'm gonna make one down here. So add those trees in there. Good. I'm gonna get a tree in here. And I'm gonna go the other side. And they don't necessarily need to be the same shape or size or anything like that. This is sort of your imagination. We're not really going for exact proportion on this, meaning it does not have to be the exact size that you would really think it is with the tent in front. And I'm gonna add another tree over here. And again, I'm doing one tree at a time. There we go. And I'm gonna get my trees. And they look a little scribbly, and that's okay. That looks great. Add another tree in there. There we go. Color down and color the opposite direction. It's really important that you do it in the opposite direction. That way it ends up looking like, like a pine tree or an evergreen tree. Okay, good, I think that's enough trees for right now. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my moon and some stars. So any way you wanna do the moon, you can do a crescent moon, you can do um, a, uh, a full moon, up to you. Now this part you wanna press pretty hard. 
press pretty hard with your yellow. There we go. And I'm going to add some stars in there. There we go. Add another little star. Now, even though it looks like, oh, wait, why are you adding stars so low? They, like at the tree line. But that's because when you camp, stars are everywhere. So we're kind of getting the illusion that there are tons and tons and tons of little stars in the sky. Okay, there we go. Now, last part before we glue down our tent is I'm gonna take a black crayon. And this part is really important, is I'm gonna color in all one direction with my black crayon, but what I did is I pressed pretty hard with my crayon here, and I'm gonna press extremely lightly with my black crayon. Very important, very, very, very lightly. Because if we were using watercolor or a different medium, it wouldn't matter so much because it would just go, it would kind of, uh, the uh, crayon would block out the watercolor. But because we're using crayon on crayon, the crayon will go right over our beautiful um, background and we don't want it to do that. So I'm going very, very, very lightly and I'm going around and I'm doing directional shading. So all in the same direction. So it, it's really pleasing to the eye and it makes all of our other lines stand out really well. Okay, so go around. This can be a little challenging by my stars. But again, if you're going very, very, very lightly, then it's not as hard as you think. And I am going, I am using the side of my crayon and I'm barely even, I mean, the crayon could almost fall out of my hand. I'm barely even clutching onto that crayon. Okay, lightly, lightly. There we go, all the way down. And again, I don't have to worry about anything right here because that is where my tent is going to go. There we go, down there. And if you don't fill it all in, like there's a little, see how there's a little bit of white in there? That's okay too. It's like a really nice kind of artistic way to color it in. It doesn't all need to be perfect. There we go. So I'm going around my stars. And again, I'm pressing so lightly, so lightly. There we go. All right, good. So it's just kind of like a nice gray color. All right, very last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my tent over, but not these flaps. I'm gonna open up these flaps and I'm gonna add some glue. So I'm gonna push this up to the side, add my glue stick on here. Put some glue. Remember, it's very important to keep those flaps open. If you don't keep the flaps open, it will glue down, and that is not what you want. Then you won't have an open tent. All right, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fit it right over that template right there that I did make sure it's on the side, the bottom, okay? I'm gonna push down, I got a little wrinkly. Push it down, keep those open. All right, there you go. And if I wanna go back and I wanna add a little more color to my tent to kind of make it stand out more, you can do that too. All right, there you go. Have fun and enjoy your camping art picture.